Hello and welcome. It's Chilly Q here on a very rainy, miserable day. Hence the the jumper, which um don't even usually wear jumpers. He's feeling very emotional today. You see, he just keeps resting his head on my paint table, so he's gonna get his nose and everything covered in paint. This is Benson, standard poodle. He's soaking wet. Smells like a rug, wet rug. What are you gonna do there, baby? You can't, you wanna be by mama. All right, well you can't, you're gonna get paint all over your nose. So yeah, it's been very sucky today, so not sure what's going on with him, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and keep his nose out of my paints. So wish me luck. Rightio, I'm just using up some leftover paints I have here. So I have a very sort of uh, navy, like a um, oceany, oh, it's kind of, yeah, like a, what was the color? I think there was a paint company that made a, a, a paint colors very similar. So it's kind of uh, my custom color. And then this is a really nice bright turquoise. Benson, you're gonna get your nose covered in this paint, boy. You can't really stay there. No, <laughs> what is wrong with you today? I think the dogs are just totally fed up with the wet weather. I've took them out in the rain and they weren't too fussed and they've been out there sniffing around in the rain, but he is just, ah, ah, no, if you put your nose on there, you're gonna get covered in paint. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my animals today. They're feeling, um, yeah, a bit depressed with the weather. So I guess it, it depresses us humans. So the animals must feel the same. They're not, not happy with it at all. So there you go. Ooh, just wipe that off. Use my... I should have probably started with the light colour first, but I'm not was um, worried, too worried back then about Benson's nose, Benny Boy's nose in the paint. But anyway, there you go. I think I'll take that right up to the center. I want to do a swipe and I want to allow it to dry and I'm maybe gonna put a stencil on it. I'm not sure. It might turn out something beautiful that I don't even wanna add anything to. But the plan is to um, add a stencil to it because I've just bought myself a few more stencils that I wanted to play with. So I thought, do a stencil over a swipe, which might be nice, but we will see. So this is my ultraviolet. Um, this is a um, global colour. And then I'm going to put the... Nave, um, this is a um, ultra blue from Amsterdam Paints. That's it, I could not think of the name. And this is a light blue, very light blue. And then I'm going to pop a yellow in here, which will probably turn green with all these blues, purple. But we'll see, we will see. And then a really nice bright red. And then of course, we've got to add some white to that. White just, oh yeah. What I was going to do is with my soft plastic file divider, I'm gonna put some actual cell activator, which I'm gonna to use today um, the white, titanium white Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. And I forgot to put my gloves on, but they're sitting there. And I'm actually going to add it. I'm going to add it to the um, actual... Uh, I'm going to add it to the soft plastic file divider. Not actually on my paintwork. So we'll see how this one turns out. I've done this lots of times before, but usually with smaller uh, pieces of file divider. So I will whiz it, oh, gosh, nearly lost it all. Whiz it over. Just a really nice, slow, 
swipe. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that reaction. Let's just go down the side there. And the side there. Not that you have to, nothing has to be perfect. Don't sweat the small stuff. As my husband always says to me, calm your farm, don't sweat the small stuff. So I'll try not to. <laughs> Easier said than done, but that is you beaut, super duper. It's got like a rainbow of cells. When I bring you down, you will appreciate that far more. So what about I do a swipe on this side in the ultraviolet purple mix we just flow troll. So I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to just put it only on my file, my soft plastic file. I'm going to turn it over and off we go. Let's give this a go. Right, slow, 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 slow. Gosh, that purple's come through like really dominant. But that's absolutely fine because it's a really nice contrast. Claret and blue. Aston Villa. When I was in England, I lived not far from the Aston Villa Grand when I was a child, which was Claret and Blue, the football team. In Australia, I think they call them soccer, I think. I know it's different different here. Okie doke, that's beautiful. Some heat. I need to bring you down because this is particularly gorgeous. Now I'm thinking if you could get a whole canvas with this kind of effect for a background for something, that would be pretty special. Bring you down. Look at that. How gorgeous is that effect? It's so intricate and all of the colours are there that were pulled through from the centre. That's beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Oh, look even down there. So that alone would be a really, really nice background. The center's quite nice look, but I'm not liking this. It's gone ugly there. The cells are really nice out on their own here, but that red is real yucky with the, and it's kind of breaking up a bit. So it might be the perfect candidate for um, later down the track when it's fully dry, putting some kind of um, embellishment over it, I guess, because that's a bit weird and wonderful, but absolutely love, love, love that side. That's really lovely. That's gorgeous. So what do you guys think? A yay or a nay, or I just leave it and stencil it, or I get rid of the whole lot? I'm not sure about this one. I thought it would turn out a little bit better than that. But anyway, you get some winners and you get some sinners. <laughs> so anyway, I tried, I'll give it an, I'll, I'll have a think about that and I might change it, I guess. Okay, that is, I'm gonna do something with this cause I don't like it at all. I don't even think I would like it as a background for anything, so. Um, Ben, you are so needy today. What is going on with you? All right, you're not feeling too good. No, no, you're not feeling too good. Okay, let's give this a bit of a balloon job. So I think I'll only leave it at this size balloon, a nice color balloon. So I'm gonna hope the balloon does something nice for me here. Let's see if I give it a roll, give it a feathered effect. Oh, oh my goodness. That's gorgeous, doing a feather with the balloon. That's beautiful. 
it's kind of falling back in so I guess it's not a, a bit thick there but give it a couple of the um, feather effects might help it I don't really think so though <laughs> it's kind of falling back in I could swipe it again I guess with a different colour I don't know I think I'm going AWOL now, aren't I? I'm just clutching at straws trying to retrieve this. I don't want to touch this side because I do love that so much. It's this side that I don't love. But I don't know. Adding a bit of colour over here still. This is looking good. Now it's had that big chubby red blob moved off it. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to just work on this side. So let's see if I can bring some of that colour over here. You just give it a go. I mean, if it's really not working for you and you're just unhappy with it, then you have to scrape it while it's wet. And then at least you don't lose the canvas. You only lose the bit of paint you've used. So there is always options. Now... That is not too bad at all with that, with that red blob gone. And I think as it dries, I will add my smaller balloon to this to get a little bit more definition out of those flowers, which nothing is really happening in the minute. Yeah, that definitely needs some color in there. Oh, okay, let me think. Maybe, geez Louise, no, I don't like it, I don't like it. Maybe I run some colour along here. I'm just going to do it. If it ends up terrible, it ends up terrible. I'm just not happy with it, so it's got to go. This, this side I'm not happy with that, I absolutely love. Right, let's add some purple in here. Let's do something naughty with this. I'm gonna just blow it up there. That looks a lot better. That does look a lot better. That has softened it up. And then if I actually do my just embellishment in there, I had to keep working with this one. I know that I have comments that, you know, I should have left it or, but you really have to do, you as the artist actually doing the work, you have to do what you think what, what gives you joy? So, excuse me if you think that I'm doing the wrong thing, but um, I'm going to be much happier with it. I love this bit now because it's blown it out more. And having that completely different look at the bottom is, is very nice, actually. I think that that will be super duper. That's completely, so it's a chaos blow up here, balloon kiss, and it's got that lacy um, bloom swipe sort of um, effect down the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I really like it. I'm gonna finish it round the edges. Ooh, you're a bit wonky, there you go. I'm gonna finish it round the edges and I'm gonna leave it to dry because I think that that will be so much better than what I had it before. So thanks for sticking with me, my lovely. So remember, something is turning out terrible, whether in life or in your paint, in your art creation, just work with it and work with it. 
till you can get something you're happy with. And if you truly are not happy, just scrape all the paint off and uh, give your canvas a wash down outside and let it dry and then reuse it again. And that's all, all's good with the world. Okie doke, I'll say bye for now.